Why are you mad so much about Bucky's? Because you want some beaver nuggets? I get it. Beaver nuggets are like really, really, really good. Bucky's versus truck drivers. People are sitting there saying Bucky's hates truck drivers. Bucky's are his anti truck drivers. That's what people are saying. And we're going to boycott Bucky's. And I'm sitting there going, how can you boycott freaking Bucky's if they won't allow you to park in there? Well, you won't go down the road and you're sitting there going, like, hey, I'd like to boycott that, but shoot, they're boycotting me. Here's the deal, folks they're not boycotting you. I go into Bucky's all the time in my four wheeler. I go into Bucky's and this is what I do. I spend a hundred dollars and most of the time I don't even get a drop of gasoline. Here's the deal. Would you rather take your wife, okay, your lovely wife, you take your freaking kids or whatever, your lovely kids, would you rather take them to a bathroom at a Bucky's or to a truck stop? Would you take your mom, your, your elderly mom or your grandma, would you take them to a Bucky's bathroom or would you take them to a TA bathroom? I'm sorry, TA Pedro, <laughs> but let's just face it. Let's just face it. Bucky's are clean. Truck stops usually are not on pace with freaking Bucky's. Let's just say that. But let's get to the real issue. Why are you mad that Bucky's will not allow you to park in their freaking parking lot? Because they're not anti-trucker. I go in there all the time. No one's sitting there going, hey, uh, let me see your, your driver's license. Do you have a CDL? Are you a truck driver? No, no, no. I go in there, I buy crap, and I give them money. That's it. They're not anti-truck driver. They're not. They're anti-trucks on their property. Private property. Imagine this, folks. If you had five acres, they had 10 acres, whatever, and you paved that thing just so you could have something paved. I don't know the reason why. Let's just pretend. And you say, you know what? I'm just going to have this great big old parking lot full of nothing. And here comes this truck, okay? This tractor trailer coming in and it's like, hey, hey, this is my property. You're not allowed to park here. And that truck driver says, I don't care. I brought, I'm, I'm a truck driver. Without truck drivers, America stops, you know? And you're like, well, this is still private property. I mean, just because, like this laptop, I'm sitting right here in front of me, okay? I, I, I mean, I bought this shirt, okay? This whole building that I'm in, all because truck drivers had to transport material to get it here. Does that give you the right to come onto my property? No, it doesn't. It does not give you the right to come on private property. You come up on my property just because I bought some stuff that was once on a truck does not give you the right to come on here and we're going to have some daggone problems. So the argument is, is like, well, we're going to boycott freaking Bucky's because Bucky's is anti-truck driver. And I'm sitting there over thinking, like, why? Because have you seen bonehead truckers? Have you seen it? Have you gone and sit there and look at these videos that people send me? Just, you don't even have to look at the freaking videos. Just go to a truck stop yourself and see it for your own eyes. And see all the trash everywhere. See all the piss bottles everywhere. See how people sitting there taking a dump on the freaking pavement. There's a reason why they don't want trucks on their property. Because they want to keep it clean. All right, have you seen those freaking truck drivers that go up in the freaking bathroom and they put their feet in the sink and sitting there washing their feet in the freaking sink? You seen that crap? Yes, and guess what? They don't want you in there doing that. For some reason, these truck drivers on social media sitting there griping and complaining about Bucky's think that they're the greatest thing ever. You know, working in the cleanest industry, the most professional. And I'm here to tell you, uh, <laughs> You, and this is evident on this channel, it's far from the case. Far from the case. As a matter of fact, truck drivers have gotten so lazy and so filthy that even Walmarts don't want you on their freaking property. And, and Walmarts used to have, and they still do in some places, designated truck parking. But it's up to us to keep it that way, okay? We're not entitled to that. That's private property. 
Bucky's is private property. We are not entitled to bring our big rigs on their private property. So you guys are sitting there saying, well, the government needs to come up in there. Really? That's private property. The whole freedom point, right? The whole freedom? Like, don't you enjoy your freedoms? Right? Well, I'm sure the owners of Bucky enjoys their freedoms too. It's like, hey, this is my property. I could allow who I want on this property or not. And I don't want heavy, heavy, heavy rigs on the parking lot because obviously we're trashy. And then number two, just think about it. Go into that truck stop you see. You see how bumpy it is. You see how freaking, you know, over time, 80,000 pound vehicles tear up a freaking parking lot. They just do. And guess what? Cars don't, okay? RVs don't. I know you guys are, always go with the argument, well, y'all wouldn't have anything in Bucky's if it wasn't for trucks. And I get it, that's a fact. But you wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for people like Bucky's, okay, buying crap. And the customers buying crap. It's it's a whole circle that makes it work, okay? it Just because you think you're special and you're sacrificing a lot of time and you are, doesn't make you any more important than the other parts of that circle, okay? Like the consumer. Like the consumer that has to have the money to buy crap. And then you have to have that middleman and that's a store. Listen, this whole circle, we're just a part of it. And let's just face it, do you want your wife to go into a freaking Bucky's bathroom, huh? Or do you want your wife to go into a freaking truck stop bathroom? Think about that. Just think real hard about that. Okay? Just think real hard. I love Bucky's. I go into Bucky's all the time. I just do. It's it's a fun place. Alright? I mean, I see those signs that say no big rigs, and I get it. People are like, hey, that's a lot of property that I could go park on. And I get it. I understand. But there's so many other places around that says no big rigs, and you guys aren't mad about that. Why are you mad so much about Bucky's? Because you want some beaver nuggets? I get it. Beaver nuggets are like really, really, really good. If you ever want a place like Bucky's to accept truck drivers under their parking lot, we need to clean up after ourselves first. But until then, you got companies out there like Bucky's that don't want you apart or don't want you on their property because why? You're trashy, okay, and you don't know how to act in public. And I mean you, I'm not talking about all truck drivers, I'm talking about the bonehead truckers. We see them on here, right? If you're watching this video, if you watch, most of you, not all of you, most of you are not the problem. And, and you, sh you guys should know that, right? If, you're, if you watch this channel right here and you're watching this video, most of you guys are not the problem. It's the people who don't watch this channel and watch this video and stuff like that, those people are usually the problem. Understand, Bucky's is not the problem. It's us that's the problem. And we have to fix it. Hey, my name is Ike Stevens. This is Bonehead Truckers. We got Bonehead Truckers of the week coming at you real soon. We'll see you again for Bonehead Truckers. Hey drivers, Eric here with TRC Freight. We are ramping up our flatbed division on step decks, flatbed, Conestogas. So if you ever thought about running flatbed or step deck with us, give us a call now or visit the website trcme.com. You can see more information about the program. You can also apply directly from the website. We offer 88% medical benefits and a whole lot more. Listen, we're there for you. We support you more than any other company on the road. So again, if you want to run flatbed or step deck, now's the time. Reach out to us, trcme.com.